Hello, I'm April May. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a reading on Daniel Robinson. This has been requested by multiple people, uh, so I'm glad I'm getting to do that today. Please remember this reading is my interpretation of the cards and for entertainment purposes only. All inv individuals are considered innocent until proven guilty and all statements made here are alleged. Thank you for watching. Let's get started. Desert asked for help. Forensic science will find important clues. So we know that this happened in the desert, that he went missing. He is still missing. Asked for help, and forensic science will find important clues. Okay, so this doesn't give us a whole lot of information. Consult the tarot cards. And I'm using the Rider Waite uh, Apprentice deck. So you'll see the definitions on the cards that'll help you uh, follow along with the reading. So we have desert, asked for help, forensic science, and then we have death upright, the tower upright, and the ten of pentacles upright. So the death card, um, usually when I pull the death card in personal readings, um, usually does mean death if somebody's going to experience a death in their family. Um, but death doesn't always mean death the death card doesn't always mean death. It's usually a significant end and beginning. <clears throat> and the actual definition is the end, it's over, nothing lasts forever, transition, one phase ends, the next begins. Um, I think in this reading, the death card means death. I think that this is telling us that um, Daniel is no longer with us. Then we have the tower. Um, this is a like a rude awakening of a falsehood exposed. Uh, it can also be false pride knocked down. Um, hmm. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, this is well-established uh, family, wealth, prosperity, legacy, inheritance, building upon success. And then we have the Ten of Swords reversed. This is harsh, cold, hard truth, mentally unprepared, weak underlying concept, and unethical. Hmm. And then we have the Hermit. This is introspection. Solitude can be mentorship and guidance, seeks wisdom, uh, and spiritually enlightened. I'm really getting a sense of kind of mind mind games here for some reason um ten of swords the end no more it's over uh attack betrayed could be devastated by bad news or darkest before the dawn so there's a lot of there's a lot of endings um rude awakenings Something he thought was a reality is no longer a reality. Now, is that because it in fact is no longer a reality or is this a mind game? Is this someone playing with his mind? Um, let me pull some more cards and see if I can get some more clarity here. So we have the Three of Cups, which is supportive alliance and friendship. It's community, uh, strength and unity um, can be a social gathering and celebration. The Empress Upright, that's your mother energy, um, nurturing. Hmm.
Hmm. This. God, I don't know. I. This feels like so feminine energy here that is kind of toying with his mind. That's what I'm. That's what I'm feeling. Toying with his mind. Um. So Eight of Pentacles, upright. Uh, that's learning, mastering a new skill. Apprenticeship, craftsman, takes pride, making goods. Um, what? So what is going on here? So I feel like, okay, so I'm definitely getting, somebody's toying with his mind, toying with his emotions. Something he thinks is a reality is no longer. What is going on? And then we have these, the Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. I'm not clear where those are coming in. See, he's seeking enlightenment from somebody of a feminine energy that he thinks he has a friendship, an alliance with, somebody who kind of is leading him down this path of enlightenment. But it's unethical. Or he feels like it's unethical. He feels like he's been done wrong. What is going on here? And is this somebody tied to his job? Or somebody he met at a job? Somebody he's... So I'm getting like this, this feminine energy who he thought was leading him down this path of knowledge and enlightenment. It's like these new thoughts. That's what I'm getting. New thoughts of a way to look at things, like spiritualistically looking at things. Um... And then I see a crack in that relationship. But where does this, where do the ten and the pentacles come into play? This, these tend to be around work um, and money, which makes me think that it's. But I don't feel like it's finance. I don't know if he met this person at work or while working. But I think he worked in the desert, right? That's why he was in the desert. He was seeking help. This person was helping him, he thought, find spiritual answers. Like a deep, I, I just get deep connection, like a deep connection and understanding somebody he felt like he was deeply connected to and I feel like it's a feminine energy doesn't necessarily mean that it's a female it just means a female energy um oh, no but why would this result what why So we have the Eight of Wands upright. Um, this is accelerating and developing fast. Um, it, it can also be air travel, but I don't think in this case that's what that means. Um, Ace of Pentacles. 
this is a new opportunity. Um, in the temperance upright, this is moderation, balance, and harmony mix blend together to create something new see so we're still on this he thought that there was this path to make something new something he felt very connected to this person i mentally unprepared and unethical he felt broken by this separation there's a separation between these people for some reason this rude awakening, he's devastated by something. No more, it's over. So we've got like these definitive, like it's, it's completely over. Clean break. Where he thought there was all of this support and prosperity. Things were moving at an accelerated speed. My moderation, balance, and harmony. I think he was struggling to find the balance in his life. I don't know what he did for a living. I know he worked out in the desert doing something, but I don't know. Is there an ethical question to what he did for a living or what the company he worked for. Um, like, I don't know what, I don't know what they do. You know, like some people, um, what do they do out in the desert? Like fracking. Um, some people have, there's a lot of co controversy over whether fracking is uh, detrimental to the environment. So did he do something along those lines or something, whatever his job was, was there an ethical underlying question to it. I don't, I don't know. Y'all have to let me know. Um, but I feel like he was struggling with something spiritually. Um, and this person that he found through, I, I don't know. I feel like it's work. Something is tying into his work. Either he met her through his work, um, or his work is causing the, this ethical conundrum but he, he is struggling between, how do I explain this? One plane of existence and another. Um, she is, I say she just because it's a, a feminine energy. It, it could be a guy, um, but the energy is feminine. Um, and he, holds her in a high regard, someone that he feels like connects with him on this other level. And for some reason, there's a break in their connection. Like he feels connected to her on a, almost like a, spiritual soul to soul connection and that connection is severed and when that connection severed there's like a break from reality does that make sense that's what i'm getting is a there's a mental break i don't think i don't think she or he or whoever this other person i don't think they killed him i don't think this is murder i think this is a a break from reality. I think that I Yeah, this isn't I don't feel I don't feel scared. I don't feel pain. I feel like devastated. And I feel like like someone who is losing control of their mental faculties um, due to the like the emotional pain, not physical pain, but maybe emotional pain. Um, 
but I think all this stuff like moved fast. I it doesn't feel like. I don't know. And was he taking care of himself? Um, for some reason, I'm getting dehydration. I, I don't know. You know, I deal, if you've followed my channel, you know that I deal with uh, injured wildlife and dehydration plays a big factor in an animal's ability to recover from trauma. And I don't know why dehydration is just, I'm, I'm just getting dehydration. Um, hmm. God, I'm just, yeah, I'm just getting an, an emotional break kind of from reality, from not understanding what's going on. Confusion, that's what, confusion. Um, and lost. And, I don't know, this is so weird. Forensic science will find important clues. So I don't know. Oh, my dog just showed up. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if this will be... something that happens in the near future. Or we won't get answers until this clue is found. Or do they have this clue and we just don't know about it? Um, this tells me that there's more information to come. These cards can be kind of frustrating sometimes when I pull cards like this, but it tells me that there are answers to come in the future. Uh, more will be revealed as to what happened. But I personally feel from this reading, this was not, somebody did not, um, cause his death. But I think somebody's actions triggered the dominoes to fall that resulted in his death. And I think a lot of it has to do with um, kind of a break, um, a mental and emotional breakdown. Um, I think an emotional breakdown then maybe uh, kind of detaching mentally from reality um, where he didn't really understand what was happening at the time. Um, I don't think he was suicidal. I don't feel that. I feel lost, confused, doesn't understand what's happening. Um, and like in dehydration. I don't know if he just wandered out into the de desert and succumbed to the elements. I, I don't know, but for some reason, dehydration just keeps popping into my mind. Um, but I think it was a very unfortunate turn of events. But I think this person who he was attached to was the catalyst in his undoing. Um, but I don't feel like it was intentional on her part, maybe misleading him and I don't know drugs just popped into my mind I and I don't feel like he was doing drugs I don't feel like this was a drug induced did they do you know I I don't know like drugs together that sent them on this spiritual journey together um, you know, like mushrooms or an acid trip or I, I don't even, I don't know, but I'm just, 
I see this journey the two of them are on in almost like a dreamlike state. Um, and he's always trying to reconnect with her in that way again. And for some reason they can't they can't get back to that point. And once that bond is severed, it sends him on this downward spiral. Hopefully we will get some more information soon. Um, I know his his family certainly deserves to know what happened to him. Uh, it's always devastating when the family doesn't have any kind of answers. I couldn't even imagine. So I'm going to end the reading here. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this reading um, informative. Please be safe out there and make good decisions, and I will see you in the next video.